Hear ye, hear ye. You're about to see a handmade uh, locomotive. It's a bit slow because the batteries are low. The point is that I'm about to start a new production of handmade locomotives. I would like to share with you, with all YouTube viewers, the handmade uh, method and process of very cheap and easy to make rails. These are G scale, 45 millimeters. So as you see, I made a bunch of them. So I believe there's like uh, there's around ten or twelve segments, each being eighteen inches. So if you take a closer look, that's an eighth inch wire soldered together. To make a one rail and then the ties are actually shortened popsicle sticks so here is the ties the popsicle sticks as you can see they're a bit longer and actually you can keep their original length you don't have to shorten them what else I did with those, uh, with those ties is I stained them. As you can see they have a, a nice brown color. And they do look like uh, real ties. The connection between the rail and the tie is made with a strip of sheet metal from a tin can and what I did is I just uh, with my pliers I bent the, uh, the joints around the ties and it holds pretty good you don't need nails, you don't need screws you don't need glue so actually because the resistance is so great over the length of 18 inches so there is no really any danger that they will uh, kind of lose their set uh, gauge of 45 millimeter so now about the train the locomotive I built it in 1993 so it's been a while it is uh, powered by a small electrical motor with three uh, AA batteries. I'm going to show you what's the mechanical setup inside. So you see the uh, the battery packs are two in the rear, one in the front, and they're connected with a wire. And the gears are uh, from eBay very cheap 20 gears of this size is are, are around two dollars and the motor is around a buck fifty so as you see the the housing of the gears is made of also out of popsicle sticks and it works fine there is not a lot of torque and uh, you shouldn't be too concerned about uh, those gears uh, popping out So all of this I did it by hand. There are no purchase parts here. So everything is being manufactured from scratch. So those are popsicle sticks split in half and also stained. The metal being used here everywhere is a tin can metal, tin gauge sheet metal 
very easy to solder. Those are nail heads. They can absorb a small shock. So this is the introduction of my uh, future train production and rail production. So it took me about maybe two days to, to do this whole set of rails. I'm probably going to make another video to show you how, how exactly I made those rails. I also have a bunch of uh, curved rails, obviously. So this is the connections between the sections. I'm probably going to do another video to show you how I maintain the gauge in this curve. So it's also it's basically the same method of connecting the ties to the rails. I don't know if you can see the, the profile. Yeah, this is better. So it's about a quarter inch height because each, each wire is about one eighth of an inch. So that's all you need basically, a bunch of popsicle sticks and uh, steel wire, galvanized steel wire. You can get it at a hardware store, I think eight feet long, you can buy it for a buck fifty or so. You can imagine how cheap was in material the production of all these rails. Very, very cheap, less than maybe ten dollars. So I'm gonna wrap it up for now since I don't have a very good uh, editing software and I'm gonna post it as is and uh, once I'm ready to do some uh, major train construction I'll put up a new video. Thank you.